last video, I just want to say that it is actually very kindly sponsored by The Great Courses Plus. The beauty of our study community is that all of us love learning, everyone wants to know more stuff. I personally cannot get enough of learning new things. That is why I am just staying in education for the foreseeable future. And although I love my degree, you know, there are times where I want to learn stuff that isn't in my degree and is not in my syllabus. So for those of you who don't know what The Great Courses Plus is, The Great Courses Plus is a subscription on-demand video service that has loads of lectures and courses from lecturers and professors all over the world from all these amazing universities. There are also experts from places like National Geographic and the Smithsonian, so like, there is so much to choose from. Science, history, literature, philosophy, music, you name it, there are over 11,000 lectures that you can watch, so you are not going to be short for choice. <laughs> Personally been watching the story of the human language course because I'm doing a linguistics paper as part of my finals, and I don't really know a lot about linguistics or about the human language for that matter. <laughs> The lectures are so interesting and it's really nice to like challenge another part of your brain that's perhaps slightly a bit outside of your comfort zone or a bit outside of your academic zone, like where what you know about. <laughs> so The Great Courses Plus is actually offering you guys a free trial. So if you want to get the free trial, I'll put the link in the description and here on screen right now and you can go and see all the lectures for yourself. So before we get on with the video, be sure to click the link in the description to start your free trial. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a day in the life of an Oxford student, whatever you want to call it, a vlog. My hair is looking like, whoa, straw, because I washed it last night. I didn't brush it before I went to bed, so it's looking a little bit crazy. But today, it's a relatively busy day. Yesterday I had seven contact hours, which was like back to back and was not the one, and they messed up all my shoots, so I've got to do all my reading for this term during term time, because they gave me the wrong reading list. <laughs> so I'm very behind. Um, but I thought I would do a day in the life video today because you guys seemed to like that last time and I've got a relatively big amount of things to do today. So it's currently 10, um, yeah it's 10 o'clock and I woke up at 9 because I have literally had like the busiest few days ever and I'm knackered and I finally had a later start today. So I don't have a lecture till 11. So I've just spent the morning, I had a couple of dead, like dead, not deadlines, but like a couple of things I needed to finish to hand in today. So I've just been like tweaking them and finishing them. And now I'm going to do a to-do list for today and then head off to my lecture once I've sorted out this situation. Anyway. Whilst I'm getting ready, I'm going to listen to an episode of Radio Ambulante, which is like a Spanish podcast. It's really good. Um, it just talks about stories in Latin America, and my Spanish is really lacking at the moment, like really, really bad compared to usual. So this is what I'm doing right now. It's very good. to bags are packed gonna put my coat on make myself a cup of tea and head to wellington square because that is where i have my classes today well my first class anyway <laughs> from the first leg of my day I had a I actually had a really interesting lecture on female writers in the golden age and I'm so excited because I feel like this is a lecture series that I'm actually gonna want to listen to and I actually learned stuff from like I came out I was like wow maybe I want to do that as my specialization I don't even know but um, it was really interesting then I had a class on migration literature which was also really good and then I just popped to Tesco did a quick food shop like just like enough to sort of get me through this week and I'm now gonna have my lunch which is gonna consist of a pasta pot and some raspberries um, and just watch some you maybe like a singular YouTube video um, because I have 20 minutes before my next class and then I have a tutorial and this tutorial is gonna be a stressful one because I need to sort out what I'm doing for the rest of the term because I'm in the wrong paper 
rotor thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit and watch maybe a bit of grackle. I feel like grackle is what I need or just something very easy on the brain, you know. <laughs> like two minutes of piano practice and now I'm off to my class so I'll see you later woo woo I'm now skirting to a tutor at St Hilda's in a taxi because it's the other side of town and I have 10 minutes to get there fun times tutorials I've ever had and we've kind of relatively sorted the stress it means that I have to read one extra the no, two extra books more than what I thought yet like it's basically sorted um, but I'm in my kitchen right now which is a bit of a state but it always is um, and I'm just making myself a ready meal um, health no but yeah today's not been I feel like you guys have just seen me eat pasta today which I don't usually do like I usually have like I don't know I was gonna have fish cakes and rice for dinner or some salad um, but it's just I'm in a bit of a rush today and um, I'm gonna finish those raspberries as well that I had earlier and I'm now I've got like a few hours before we go out so I've got lots of little tasks to do lots of little bits of work rather than my big essays and translations I've got lots of little readings and stuff to do so I'm gonna eat this and then I'm just gonna sit for a couple of hours and put some vinyls on and just get some reading done because yeah. Oh, and for those of you asking whether I work in the library or in my room, if I'm doing like a full day of work, I tend to go to the library. But if I've just got like a couple of hours, sometimes I just prefer sitting in my room because it's like a casual work situation where I want to go on my phone as well and like have some music on and have a cup of tea. So it depends on my mood. But I am actually, during exam season, I'm definitely a library girl, but like generally I'm more like a coffee shop or my room sort of person. Yeah. Vinyl of gods, not being funny. This is one of the best things you can have on vinyl. It is tidy. Um, also, these high key slap. I don't know if you guys have tried these because I do not have really, unless like there's no other option. Like I generally have dairy free, like dairy. <laughs> so these are genuinely nicer than normal yogurts, and I will not eat any other yogurts now. Who's come to visit me? Hello. I don't know what to say. Introduce yourself. I'm um, Nadia, first year history at Somerville. And she bought um, me an amazing birthday present. Yeah. It's a Spanish book in German. I read this book, it's one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> Should I just promote the book? Yeah, go. This is, this is my brand. Okay, so this is called The Motorcycle Diaries by Che Guevara, and it's a diary of his travels across Latin America when he was like a young person. And he traveled across the whole continent with his best friend on a motorcycle and became aware of like political injustice. And it's just a great book. Read it. I got it for Eve, so she's gonna read it. I'm gonna read it on my year abroad. I am indeed. Yeah. Andy just popped over and surprised me. So I haven't actually done much work. I've done about half an hour. Um, I've just finished reading the translation thing, but I'm not gonna have time to do anything else now because I need to get ready. This happens, this is a day in the life, and I wanna be honest with you, like I've not really done that much work today in terms of actual work, but I did have a lot of contact hours and I had a lot of deadlines and things recently. So this is my low point of the week where I don't actually have any deadlines. I have no contact hours really for the rest of the week, which means that I don't need to do work today. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a to-do list for tomorrow because I have the whole of tomorrow off, which means that I need to be productive. And once I made the to-do list, I'm going to get ready and go to Freud because I can't go to Freud looking like this because this is, I'm just looking a bit dishevelled really, aren't I, so. To-do list is now written, which I'm not gonna show you obviously because like, that's my to-do list. But we're all done and now I'm gonna get ready for Freud because I don't wanna do anything else. <laughs>
dress to go to Freud, I'm wearing this top, which is from Next, um, which is like a turtleneck jumper, and then this like long skirt, um, which is from Mint Velvet, um, which I can't really show you because I don't have a full length of this term, but I'm gonna go, I'll put some clips in from me at Freud, um, and hopefully I'll do an outro clip. I trust myself to do an outro clip. <laughs> enjoyed this please give it a fat thumbs up not a press thumbs the subscribe down button and press down the subscribe there. button we'll be here um for more like this it's been a day in the life everybody <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap.